Yeah, one really, of these is completely different. It actually gives me support for my foot. Unlike the Nike Freeze I was running in. It's just the right temperature, just a little drizzle. It was a great run. Just thinking about how much I'm gonna miss the US of A when I go out for a year and to China. So I'm trying to take advantage of all the stuff I can here before I go. Today we're gonna do an unboxing of the MacBook Pro. Let's get to work. So I picked one of these up because I'm gonna to need, to need to do video processing. I'm gonna to need to do it mobile. About for the next year, I'm going to be traveling. So I need some way to be able to edit videos, work with 4K video, and post them while not relying on my desktop tower, which is over there. That tower is actually gonna go with Ash for the time that I'm gone. So, I got one of the top of the line 15 inch MacBook Pros. I'm gonna take off the top here. Typical Apple packaging. Everything's kind of where it should be. It's very nice. Got a space gray one. Pulling off this cellophane type thing. Oh, nope. This allows you to pull the whole unit out. All right, one of the reasons I got this was just build quality. I mean, it's, it's really solid, but at the same time, it's very light. So it's very mobile. I actually had an original, I'm not sure if it was an original MacBook Pro, but my first MacBook Pro I got quite a few years ago was a 17 inch model. I really like that Mac has the 17 inch screens. They kind of got rid of them and only went the biggest now being the 15. But this should still definitely be adequate to work with videos and everything that I need to do. So I just popped it open and it automatically started. Like I said, I went with the darker space gray. And I feel like this is a little different. It's a little bit more eye-catching than the typical silver. Yes, I want to use English. Yes, English, of course. What else we got in the case? Obviously, we have the charger. Whoop. Hey, one of the big things is that it really only uses USB-C ports now. And it has four of them. You use the same port for plugging anything in, charging. Which means I'm gonna need a lot of dongles and accessories and cable converters. That's already. All right, Apple. So interesting for setting up this MacBook Pro. I have the Touch ID, which is a little button on the keyboard that allows you to unlock it, kind of like the fingerprint button on your iPhone. And I set it up by putting my finger on, the, on this little button in the top right. And as you can see, lift and rest your finger repeatedly on the Touch ID thing. It's kind of cool. Oops, you clicked. I did it wrong, but you, you just touch your finger on there like you do with your iPhone. And you can see the touch bar on the MacBook Pro because it can change while giving me the directions of how to do it. Place your finger, and now it's set up. And now I can just open it up and lock my MacBook just with my fingerprint. Another interesting thing to note is that escape key is actually not a real key. It's actually a touch bar key. So it'll be interesting to see how I like that or hate that. 